so after installing the last of us you may also facing not enough storage or video memory issue so i have already solved that problem that's why i not have a proper screen recorded video but i will show you the solution in a proper recorded manner as you can see i have tried everything like i have a 30 gb ram card and i have set it the virtual ram to the 32 gb and i have set it both of the last of us launcher and shortcut to the high end gpu I have set this also and as you can see I have the old graphic driver install of Navidia which is everyone saying to install 552.44 so don't worry I have done all of that and I have also undervolted my GPU so that my GPU won't crash out and I also tried overclocking it but I have tried everything but it is still keep saying that the not enough video memory so today we are going to solve this problem that even if trying all these things and do all these things these are all are needed but now i'm going to tell you if it is still not working what to do the next step so this is the start of the video so i have already solved that uh, problem but let me show you what you need to do just go on the your browser and search for the last of us low and pc modes and you will find a site of nexus mode so just click on this and you will open a page like this so so once you open the page do not download this what you need to do is click on the last of us on the left corner and then download the first fix grace file i will give the link but in case i forget to give follow the instructions so click on that and you will open this kind of page uh, where you will find something written like Navidia and AMD. So just go for the files option. So click on the files and uh, then download whatever uh, GPU you have. If you have AMD, download the AMD files and if you have Navidia, download the Navidia files. It will be same for both. You just have to extract that folder and paste it in the game folder where you have installed the game. So I am going to download it and so when I click on the manual download my download page will be opened but if you don't have account you need to create account and then click on the slow download okay. It will take some time and then it will start downloading. So once you download it now you need to download the 2GB settings for the graphic okay. I will show you what next to download. You can download 4GB you can download 2GB but doesn't matter you if you have a card of 4 GB, 8 GB or 2 GB, just go for the 2 GB so that it, it perform very well in 4 GB and do not crash. If you download 4 GB for 4 GB, it will crash because the game is not optimized at all. So go to the 2 GB. For downloading 2 GB file, just go on the first page we have opened uh, and then uh, click on the random option and then after going into random, search between these files but you are not seeing anything written to zb so just click on the load more or the next page and you will find a 2 zb config file so download it. it is saying download it so click on this one and you will open this page so go in it click on the files and you will find two files uh, if you have downloaded from the steam you can also download it this one and if you haven't downloaded from this team and you have older version because you have done something captain jack sparrow thing so you will download this one i am downloading this one so now i have two files the configuration file as well so it is 2 gb so this is our 2 gb file so what you need to do is rename it to the 2 gb you renamed it to the TZV. Now go right click on this one and then uh, go to the WinRAR and extract to blah blah blah. Now you will find this folder. There is another folder but don't worry just get into it and copy all of them. And then copy them and paste in the location where you have installed the game. What you need to do is go on this icon. Open file location wherever you have installed your game. And you need to paste them. In my case, I am clicking escape, but you need to click replace. 
if there is option of it and uh, maybe you will not get this option and that's completely fine ignore it you just have to copy them there after doing that what you need to do is go back to the download folder and extract that 2 gb named file and uh, this is important one right click on it go to the winrar extract and then go in the folder and then go and open the readme you don't need to read the readme but i am explaining you how to use it so you will find three files here first one is the readme second one is the graphics settings.txt and the third is screen info.cfg you need to know where to put which file which is written in readme but just do what i do now go and copy the graphics settings.txt file and then click on the os then user after that select the user you have installed the game in and then go to the app data folder the app data folder open the local and then search for the tlou if you do not find a folder named tlou don't worry just create a new folder and rename it ou in capital letters then click on this you may not having here a folder named save or having it so if you haven't create a folder and rename it to the saved then make a folder named config and in that folder make a folder named the last of us part one and then paste the graphic settings here okay what you need to do paste so you are going to to replace the thing or copy the thing here now you can go back to the downloads and the then the 2gb file folder and copy the config you have to put it in the some random numbers okay so just copy it and go on the path i am going so what you need to do is go on the go on the os then user then public then public document so you can go to my pc then os so go on the user then public then public documents then steam then you may be having here a single name if you don't do captain jack sparrow things but because i do captain jack sparrow thing that's why here is two names so i know for me it's rune go in the rune and then the random number and paste your screen info here so i am pasting it here paste the screen info and replace it now when you play the game the game will be running as you can see it will wait and then it will say you to update the drivers but do not update the drivers or it won't run yeah i am not going to show you that the game is running because i don't want to explode my pc but if you don't want the game to crash and run smoothly you need to do two things undervolt your gpu and change the settings both of the things is in the video you are seeing on the screen or maybe the video is in the description and your uh, last of us will run smoothly with no crashes